Uh, I think that's a little tarpon actually. Oh my God. All right guys, what is going on today? We are back out for some snook and tarpon. So basically yesterday's intro was all out of whack. So I'm just gonna film the intro today. So basically what today's video is about is this live target mullet swim bait. I've been looking to use it for a while and for what I'm doing today, I think it'll work. So I would not use this swim bait for anything besides tarpon and snook because tarpon and snook will eat freaking anything that looks like a mullet. So today we are gonna challenge ourselves and use the bait that everyone wants and everyone buys, but doesn't seem to get much luck on. Because the thing about live target, they don't have much action, but that's really the purpose of the bait is to make it look as realistic as possible. It's not supposed to have a wicked action to it. So they are, uh, as advertised, their swim baits are made to not have much action because if you look at a bait in the water that is perfectly healthy, it doesn't it doesn't move all that much. It's not very, it, it doesn't have much movement. So I have yesterday's footage and I'm gonna film some today because yesterday I got blown out by the storms. So uh, I did not have time to finish that video yesterday all right we're gonna start throwing the good old live target mullet i did wrap my swim bait rod in some wind grips this thing looks sweet current's actually going pretty good through here i'm kind of worried that these fish won't like this yellow line stands out way too much i think Oh my god, something was after it. Oh, those are mangroves, the mangrove snapper. Oh my gosh, those are huge. Those are huge snapper. Let's see if there's a big snook up over under here. And of course. Gosh, those are actually some decent mangrove snapper. There might be a snook up over there. I'll let it sink a little bit. Oh my God, something just, something big just came out and freaking annihilated this thing. Oh my gosh. I just saw a snook come out of nowhere, out of freaking nowhere, and he just destroyed this thing. And of course he didn't eat it. Oh my gosh, there's something right there. I think that's a snook. I think that's a little tarpon, actually. Oh my god! Oh my god! Tarpon! Tarpon! Tarpon on, baby! Tarpon on! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Tarpon on, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Woo -hoo -hoo. Tarpon on, baby! Gosh! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Not this again! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was quick! Oh my god, I saw that tarpon right there! Ah, god! Oh, shit! Oh! 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 oh. Damn! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! He just came up and annihilated that thing. <laughs> I got the leader. That's a catch. I'll count that as a catch. Oh. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh. Well, there goes a $12 lure. I literally landed him in 20 or 30 seconds. I knew I should have let him play out. That was really stupid. Thinking I could land a tarpon in 20 seconds. I really wish I could have held that thing up, but and how it goes. Luckily, I have another one in here. We got, that one was a plain, a plain pattern. Uh, I have a striped mullet in here. Luckily, I bought two of them. I will not stress that enough. That was really stupid, thinking I could, cut, I could land that fish in 20 seconds. But I just got too excited 
it, like I was so confused at first. So I, it was just really out of confusion. Like, what the heck do I do? I'm actually really lucky that Tarpon didn't rip up my hand when he just took off like that. Because that, li that line was almost wrapped around my finger. Not really could have done some damage to me. All right, I'm gonna take a break from the live target mullet. I'm gonna throw a little paddle tail just so I can get something going here. Maybe some little snook or something else. Oh, yeah, I do have a fish. Well, I had a fish. That was like my second or third cast with the paddle tail and already got a bite. Felt pretty small. I'm not too worried about it. Think about the live target mullet. It's pretty big, so if you're looking to get a lot of bites, I wouldn't go with it. To get a lot of bites, you should throw like a three or four inch paddle tail. There we go. Oh my gosh. Babyest snook you will probably ever see. Actually, wait. What is that? Oh, it's a little trout. Sweet. All right, got a little trout on the paddle tail. And as you can see, that live target mullet would be way too big for this guy to eat. So that live target mullet, again, that's more for, if you're looking for big bites, big snook, big tarpon. Well, not big tarpon, probably low, like that 10 pounder I just got. Oh my gosh. One dinky trout and one dinky snook off this dock. Like I said, these little paddle tails, you're not going for much. You're just going for bites. And that's proven to be true. Nice little snook right there. Still pretty fish. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was the dinkiest snook I've ever seen. Like seriously. There must be like thousand of them under there. Guess I'm using the trees as an anchor. How innovative. Oh my god! That was a little snook. That was so cool though. What the heck? <laughs> I'm probably gonna give myself about another hour and that's it. screwed all right guys as you can see my trip was cut a little short because the weather was getting real nasty and i did not feel like getting struck by lightning that day but that is for another time so i'm not gonna draw any final conclusions about this bait just yet because i really haven't tested it out enough to draw any kind of final conclusion but i can kind of give a semi-conclusion if that makes any sense and just give my opinion on it from just those that one and the the next day that I went out from the first day where I caught that tarpon um, I, I realized that this bait does catch fish but you're only you're going for mainly bigger bites you're not gonna catch many little fish like the little snook and little tarpon can eat it but um it's a pretty bulky bait it's a big profile and you're not gonna get many little fish on it and what you're gonna see from day two on this trip is that the fish they're they're kind of hesitant to eat it especially snook because snook they're just they're pretty dang smart fish and i can't stand it sometimes because i saw a snook cruising the shoreline there's a little, a little bit of a spoiler for the next video but i saw a snook cruising the shoreline i pitched it right out in front of him and it was i thought it was a perfect scenario and it really was so he followed it all the way up to my kayak, literally nosing it, nosing it, had his, literally had his nose on it the whole time. When I sped up, he sped up. When I slowed it down, he kind of stopped and looked at it. And when he got near me, he just took off. So I think what the problem was that wasn't helping my situation at all was that I'm using this high-vis yellow line. And um, when you're using this kind of line, you need a pretty dang long leader, especially with snook because snook can 
see this from a mile away and, and especially in clear water you're not going to get them to bite maybe with live bait but with artificials you're going to have a hard time so with this kind of bait you always want to throw something real heavy i have a big heavy swim bait rod on here big 300 size reel with a power knob um fast gear ratio which you know that's not a good gear ratio to have for a swim bait but i just slowed my retreat down a little bit and it was no big deal and as you saw in that video with the tarpon uh this, this swim bait rod uh he, he handled that tarpon pretty easily that was probably a 10 or 12 pound tarpon you know 50 pound braid 300 size reel and uh heavy swim bait rod did the trick and it's <laughs> i didn't think it would stop him that easy but um he was kind of stunned which it's done me too. I'm going to do a part two on this swim bait. Uh, it's going to be in my next video. I used it and I, I intended it for, I t intended for it to be like a part two. Um, but I'm not going to make it like that because it, I, I was, I was a little distracted throughout the video and I'm going to, I'm going to make that video about something else, but I will make sure to make a full featured video on this bait because I really want to spend like a whole day just throwing this bait, see how many uh, bites I could get and see if I can get some real good bites like a 40 inch snook or you know even a big tarpon because fish obviously like this thing. It just depends on the scenario and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely, like I said, I'll be doing another video on this swim bait here pretty soon. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I see you in the next one.